it was absolutely amazing seeing all the work sent through from yesterday. I've been absolutely overwhelmed. The messages that I've received have been wonderful. If I've not replied to you yet, then I will do soon. Um, I'm just going to explain the format. It's going to be slightly different from here on. So we're going to start off actually by looking at yesterday's video, working through some of the examples, having a look at some work, doing a few questions relating to that. Then I'm going to introduce the next challenge, today's main challenge. So let's pick up from where we got to yesterday. Yesterday we were looking at the three consecutive numbers task. My example was 6 plus 7 plus 8, there's three consecutive numbers, which equals 21. And we saw that 3 lots of 7, the middle number, is also 21. Had a look at this picture and thought, well, why is that? And imagined this one from the 8 moving over to the 6, and that's what makes this picture three lots of seven. So we can use that strategy if we're doing six plus seven plus eight. Um, I had some amazing examples of work sent through. I loved this one. Have a look. There's an example on the right where we use one plus two plus three, and we can see that that's the same as, as um, three times two times three. And also we've got this example, which uses the same idea, but we've got 97, 98, and 99. The sum of those three numbers, 294 and also 98 times 3, 294 as well. Love that example. Thank you so much for sending it through. Um, the, um, some of the questions from yesterday were, were, were these. So we had 5 plus 7 plus 9. Um, now, of course, we could do 5 add 9, that's 14, and then add the 7. That, of course, is the same as 7 plus 7 plus 7. If I take 2 from the 9 and put it onto this 5, I'd have a 7 and a 7 and a 7. 21. One of the other questions you had was 24 plus 25 plus 26. Now, you might choose to add the 24 and the 26 and then add the 25. But if you actually just adjust the numbers, change this 26 to a 25 by putting 1 onto here, well, of course, we have three 25s making 75. One of the challenges was which consecutive numbers add up to make 30? And I had some unbelievable responses for this question. I just want to think how we can use this technique. Well, um, 10 times 3 is 30. So 3 lots of 10 is 30. Um, so then if I'm thinking about consecutive numbers, I can just think, well, 10. if 10 is like the middle number, rather than it being 10 and 10 and 10, well, of course, 9 and 10 and 11 will have a sum of 30 as well. It's an, an amazing little technique to explore. I had some unbelievable examples of work, as I say, coming in. Uh, this was one of them. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not going to look at it in too much detail in case anyone wants to go back and have a look at that video and extend themselves, but extraordinary achievement and well done. Now, I'm just going to see if we can Re recap back on that learning by seeing if we can use that understanding to answer these questions. Um, so pause the video and think about the strategies you're going to use now to do these calculations. Okay, right, well, so let's have a look. So seven plus eight plus nine, I mean, perhaps you added all of the numbers or maybe you thought, well, I'm going to take one from this nine and put it onto the seven to make it three lots of eight, eight and eight and eight, 24. We, we were looking at three consecutive numbers. Well, here we've got five consecutive numbers. Maybe you added the five and the one to make a six and the four and the two makes another six and then the three as well. Um, or I guess what you could do is if you change each number to be a three, this is a three, that's one less than three, that's one more than three. That's two less than three. That's two more than three. It's like having five threes. Either way, we get to 15. Well done for all your work yesterday. I loved seeing all the examples. So that brings us into today's challenge, the different ways challenge, three numbers. So the challenge today involves calculating with three numbers again. And again, we're looking for how many different ways or how many different answers are there. We're going to build up to this challenge in small, small steps again. Here we go. Spot the mistakes on this one. Three numbers add to make 15. Each number is three or more, and each number is different. I once gave this to my class, and here are three of the incorrect responses. 
I wonder if you can find what mistake has been made in each example. Pause the video and see if you can see. If you're ready, we'll have a look again. So, three numbers add to make 15, each number three or more, each number is different. Well, here, this two is, is not three or more, so this is an incorrect example. Four and five and seven, well, here I did a seven and four is 11, add that five, and that's 16, it's not 15. Six and six and three, well, double six is 12, add three, that's 15. All the numbers are three or more, but there's two sixes, so each number isn't different. They're things that you'll need to consider. Well, we're gonna have a go at a challenge, and one of the key skills is for you to be able to say how many answers there are. So I want you to be able to say eventually, there are, and however many possible answers you think there are to the question. That's the skill we're going to practise now. So we're gonna use the same example that we've just looked at. Three numbers add to make 15. Each number is three or more. Each number is different. One of the numbers is five. What could the other numbers be? How many possible answers are there using whole numbers? Pause the video and have a go. So let's have a look. Well, we could have had three, five, and seven. I've chosen three to start with because each number is three or more. I don't want to go any smaller than three. Um, are there any other possible answers? Well, four, five, and six consecutive numbers again there. Um, the, the four and six make 10 and add the five is 15. Hmm, well, my other number bond to 10, I guess, is five and five, but then I would have three fives and all the numbers have to be different. So there are two possible answers to that question. We started with three, five, and seven, and then four, five, and six. There are two possible answers. So very fine people of year three and four, let's have a look at today's tasks. Again, icmass.com, home lessons. If you're not already on this page, it will bring you to here. Now underneath the main video, there's a little tab that says today's tasks, year three and year four. That wording will always stay the same. And that will open up this file here, today's challenge. Um, now, your task is this one. This is a task for everyone. I think of three different whole numbers. Each number is more than five. The numbers add to make 24. What could the three numbers be? There are different possible answers. I wonder how many different possible answers you can find. Now, if you want some help, a way to access that task um, is to use this prompt here. The support tip might help. And it talks about what you can do if you're finding it a bit difficult. Now, you might not need to do that, but that's really helpful if, if you think you need help with this challenge. Equally, if you think that you've answered this challenge and you want another another opportunity to kind of deepen your understanding, or even you just want to start from this task, you could have a go at the extend task. These are from some of my favorite challenges from IC problem solving. Um, for this one, it's a three level question. Level one is you can find an answer. Level two, you can find different answers, but level three, you've got to be able to say how many answers there are. Have you found them all? How do you know that there cannot be any more? The answers are just underneath there. Um, and good luck with these challenges. So good luck for today's task. Just a thought for you. I want as many people as possible to get involved with these videos. Tell your friends, get lots of other people involved. Here's a thought though. I wonder if you could get a grandparent involved, get them doing the videos, get them to send their work through. You might not be able to see them at the moment, but I thought how good would it be if they were involved in this project as well? So can you get one of your grandparents to do one of the tasks? If you do, please, I'd love to see it. Good luck, again, I'll see you tomorrow.